and the first batch is a man, 54 years of age, from Enuezike in Enugu State. His name is Chukudi Odo. Chukudi met a Filipino young woman sometimes in 2017 online. They developed a social relationship. And then by November last year, 2019, he managed to lure the young woman, an accountant by profession, all the way from Manila in Philippines. The young lady flew a total of 23 hours before she got down here in Abuja. linking up with Chukudi in what was clearly an apparent but an unsuccessful search for love. Chukudi eventually took the lady down to his village where he kept her incommunicado for nearly six months. She was malhandled, maltreated, physically and sexually abused until police operatives from Unity Police Station in Enugu, led by the DPO Superintendent Isiga, acting on intelligence eventually led an operation and rescued the lady. As at the time she was rescued, she was already in a very bad shape physically. Police operatives rushed her to hospital, the teaching hospital in Enugu, where she was admitted for about 11 days. Today, the young lady is hale and hearty. We've established contact with the Philippine Embassy here in Abuja, preparatory to the young lady be re reunited with her family. Chukudi is here. Chukudi, put on your mask and stand up there. I'm also a social media professional. <laughs> Mama, also as, as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I tell them yeah, what you studied, the school you okay, attended. Okay, I, I read journalism. Mm -hmm. then, Take it close. Then, close journalism. Okay. Very close to your mouth. Then in Enugu. Mm -hmm. And also attended the uh, Institute of Management and Technology, where I studied technical education. Oh. <laughs> I met <laughs> Irene. Spanish in the Facebook on March 8, 2017. I added her as AIN. She responded and then we became friends in the Facebook. Then uh, we became so familiar with each other. We were in touch on a regular basis. From 2017 to 2019. Before April 2017, we have agreed to marry each other. And then she was working in Dubai as at that time. And then she told me to have patience with her until 2019, so that she would come and live with me in Nigeria. Or I have an option to come in to live with her in her home in the Philippines. But I told her that for now, that I, I will not leave my country to another country. And then I told her also to my financial handicap. And being that we are in touch with one another, just by distance, that uh, she should try and save some money that will help us to sustain us. Hold your hand. Yeah. Because uh, I have a big farm. I kept a big farm. 
So that when she came, we can be sustained from the farm. When the little change she came with, my mother got exhausted. And that is exactly how we have been living. We have been living comfortably from that November 27, November 22nd, 2019, when she flew uh, to uh, Nigeria through the Anabdas Gateway International Airport. I even wrote to the embassy of the Philippines acknowledging them of the arrival of Irene. So it happened that I have some minor uh, uh, land dispute with uh, the people of Nekuno, where I bought a land, where I'm residing. And of which she has said no very well. Go to the point. Go to the point, man. Go to the point. I'm going to the point. I'm, 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 I have to yeah, give, give a preamble to the press. Okay, okay, we don't have the time. Okay, let's, let's go. So what happened is that she, was, uh, she had constipation. And then it was COVID-19. You are an Igbo man. Yes. You are a Nigerian. Yes, sir. You are an African. Yes, sir. How did you marry this lady? Did you pay bride price to anybody? No. Did you ha uh, arrange any court wedding? Well, uh, what was Did you wed in the court or in the church or in the mosque? We are on the process. No. Yes or no? No. Good. Are you married? No. No. Before now. You are uh, married. I'm married and separated. You have children? No. <laughs> are you divorced? I, I separated. Which mm -mm. one is separated? Oh, I, 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 it's a divorce. It's a divorce. I'm a the other one, divorce. Do you have one? Madam, but I didn't go to court for divorce. What uh, about this? I was separated. Why did you arrest her? Police did not arrest me. It was the kind of people who took me to the police unit division. That what? That uh, I I don't know what what they are they are alleging that uh, that uh, this is my my woman is uh, and that. Uh, they came to my house on 1st of June, telling me to take her to hospital. Then I asked, just, I just interrogated, how did you people get to know this? They started beating me on that 1st of June. And I wanted to go on 2nd of June to, to take her to hospital for pregnancy test on 2nd of June. Um, um, have you, have you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When she came, her visa, her ticket, how many days was she... Uh, was she supposed to have spent how many just straight to the question straight to the she point was granted one month visa. okay she was granted one month visa but her ticket was for how many days her ticket she was supposed to she was granted a one month visa but she was supposed to stay for 10 days no, no. Ten, 10, you, you, 10 days, 30 days, 60 days, 180 days, 6 months. We will leave him so that those of you who are interested in having um, a deeper investigation can interrogate him later. Sit. It was an agreement between me and the family that she Which family? The family of Irene. Do you know the do you know her family? Yes, through the social media. Drop drop the mic. Drop the mic. Um, wait. Wait, you got ask. you know, you got to see him later. They don't mind. Are you saying like a journalist? 